Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this animated map in After Effects. It's very easy to create and you can use it for any kind of documentary or whatever type of videos you want. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and before we begin, we have to download this map view. Now I'm going to show you how to get this. So for that, you can just simply open up Google Maps and just you can travel to whatever place you want. For example, I'm going to Tokyo, well probably one day for sure and after that you can pick any area you want now there are a couple of things that we have to do so first you have to click over here so that it will change it to the satellite view now you can go under the more and over here we have this option called label so we don't want any kind of label so i can just click and uncheck this now make sure that this option is checked otherwise you will have a flat view and if i check this you will have this 3d sort of view now you can probably zoom in you can close this out and you can move around with the mouse click and you can hold on the control key and just click and move you can see that we can swoop around this 3d view like that now you can just pick whatever angle you want so i think let's pick this one so let's pick somewhere around here now once you're happy with your angle you can just simply take a screenshot of this area so for example i want to highlight this region so you can just take a screenshot and then import it in after effects like this so here we have our image and now we can start animating this so first we can create a new composition let's call this one main width and height will be 19 20 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want just click on ok here we have our composition now first let's create a background so right click new let's add a solid color you can just click on ok because we are going to change it anyway now let's quickly drag our map and let's drag it over here now the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to select the pen tool and i'm going to just quickly highlight or the cut out the area which we want in this view so you can just zoom in make sure that the layer is selected and after that you can just simply start clicking and just dragging around the areas which you want you don't have to be like really precise you can just do it however you want like that just quickly do this now i'm done with the masking and this is the cutout that we are going to use so here you can see that i have cut out all the necessary areas that i want now we're pretty much done with this now let's tweak this further and just add some details to this so first i'm going to select this let's search for curves and because we want a little bit of contrast to this so let's drag it onto this and let's just increase it as Let's increase a little bit of contrast. Now, once we're done with this, we are ready to add some effects to this. So first is, let me just quickly animate this out. So I basically want this map to like come from this top right angle, but it's completely up to you can animate it however you want. So let's press P and let's add a keyframe. Let's move it somewhere around here. And I'm going to just quickly select this and let's just place it something like that. Perfect. Now I'm going to move this keyframe. So in the beginning, it is like somewhere around here and like around at four seconds, I'm going to just place it right here. Looks perfect so that we have this sort of animation. Now I'm going to quickly select the keyframes, press F9 to ease them. Now we can go to the graph editor. If your graph looks different, make sure you are using the speed graph. Now let's select the endpoints and I'm going to set it to something like that. So here you can see we have our map. Now, again, there are a couple of things that we can do. So first I'm going to add an outline to this, which is actually quite easy. All you have to do is just select this, press Ctrl D. And on this one, let's call this stroke. And on top of it, we can apply this effect called stroke. And let's just click and drag it over here. Now curves, we can probably delete because we don't want. Now over here, we have this option for masks. Make sure that it is selected. Now, if I increase the brush, stroke you can see we are able to see this mask and hardness we can set this to 100 so here you can see the outline now for the color it's completely up to you i'm going to use this really nice yellow sort of color like that perfect we can probably increase the brush size like this now it's completely up to you, you can just make it however big you want so i think this looks good now I'm going to select this, press U and I'm going to just go to the final position. Now I don't want any kind of animation to this, so we can just remove this and instead we can just parent it to this map layer so that it will move wherever we have this layer. Perfect. 
So before we continue, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's continue. Now also I want to animate this stroke. So it's actually quite easy. Over here we have this option for the end value. So if I set this to zero and let's go to somewhere around here, let's add a keyframe. Let's move like a couple of frames ahead and I'm going to set this to 100. So here you can see we have this animated stroke like that. Now you can play around with its easing and timing however you want. So let's just make it appear something like here. Perfect. Now we can select this, press F9. Now we are ready to do more animation to this. So first I'm going to create a null object because I don't want these to like completely stop. So let's add a null object. Now I'm going to select this map layer and let's just parent it to this null. Now select this null, press P. Let's add a keyframe. Let's press U. And let's go somewhere around 10 seconds. And I'm going to just move this null to like somewhere around here. So now once our map like comes into the frame, you can see that it will keep on moving like this, this very small motion. We can probably make this like a little bit closer or also we can just move it a little bit further so that we have this very nice continuous motion like that. This is what I want. Perfect. So once you're done with this, let's tweak this further and I'm going to add some more details to this map. So let's select this map and on this one, I'm going to apply an effect called tint. Let's drag it over here. And this one more thing, if I go to the stroke, you can see we have this option for on original image. Let's set this to transparent so that it's only showing the stroke, not the rest of the details. Now we have this map and I'm going to select this and let's drag one more effect. Let's drag drop shadows like that let's increase the opacity to 100 and i'm going to increase the distance and let's increase the softness so that we have this very nice drop shadow over here perfect now let's play around with the background as well so let's select this and i'm going to search for ramp or gradient ramp let's drag it over here and for the colors i'm going to set this to like very dark gray and on this one i'm going to Make it dark but have little bit of this yellowish tone something like that now we can play around with their position so let's just place it over here and just play around with it however you want so i think this looks good we have this very subtle highlight over here perfect and there's one more thing that we can do we can search for grid let's search and drag it over here and Blending mode, I'm going to set this to normal and for the color, let's set this to like this very light sort of gray like that. Now for the corner pin, I'm going to just set this to width slider so that we can just create something like that. And the gradient, I'm going to just make it a little bit more darker like that. You can play around with the border as well. You can make it like thin or thick, however you want. Let's just keep it somewhere around here and let's make it like a little bit bolder. Perfect. So here we have our final look. Now I'm going to select this, this map and we are going to add some areas which we want to reveal out. So first I'm going to select the tint and let's just change this tint to this darker sort of color. And I'm going to just pick this one and just make it dark like that perfect so here you can see we have this dark area but we want to uh, add some highlights to this as well so i'm going to select this map press ctrl d to duplicate this i'm going to select this press m to reveal all the mask let's select this mask and press delete to delete it and i'm going to select the pen tool once again let's zoom in and on this one i'm going to also remove the tint effect so let's delete this as well now just highlight the buildings that you want to be like highlighted just create a mask around them so it's probably this one you don't have to be precise just do it like very roughly like that now make sure that this is selected now you can add more details so let's add this building as well like that now let's add this one as well perfect so here we have three buildings and i also want to highlight this area so let's just quickly create a rough mask make sure that this layer is selected 
so there you go now we have highlighted this region as well perfect now this one more thing that you can do so if i select this map you can see we have this shadow option so i'm going to just move it somewhere around here let's do the same thing with this map as well and let's just place it something like in this direction perfect so here we have our buildings and everything now let's quickly add our text so select the text tool and it's completely up to you you can type whatever you want so i'm going to type tokyo and let me just quickly change its color so i'm going to set this to white and let's just pick up place make it a little bit bigger and just place it somewhere in the middle of this composition now select this press ctrl d and i'm going to add a secondary text which is the same tokyo letter but in japanese and let's make this a little bit smaller and for this one we can probably add our highlight color which is this yellow perfect so here we have our text now there's one more thing that you can do we can have a little bit of outlines coming out of these buildings to highlight them so let's select the pen tool make sure none of the layer is selected now you can just simply click and let's just click somewhere around here something like that and just click over here so that we have this line which is coming out which we can play around later on as well perfect and let's animate this so and on this one we can go to add and let's add trim path and under the trim path we have this option called the end property so if i click on the stopwatch and set this to zero let's move a little bit ahead and set this to 100 so that it is like coming out perfect now we have to like probably parent it to the rest of the composition as well so i'm going to just select this and let's parent it to this map layer which is over here like that so that it will move around with this perfect now let's quickly add our text as well but first let's animate this text so on this one we are going to just apply a preset so if i search for random and over here we have this random decode character in now i'm going to just simply drag it onto this layer and let's drag it onto this as well so now i'm going to select both of these press u so you can see that we have the keyframes now we can just move them to the very beginning and just play around with their timing so as soon as our map comes so somewhere around here we can probably have it coming like a little bit more ahead perfect so here you can see as our map is coming we have this text decoding perfect now we can have a copy of it so let's select this press ctrl d and i'm going to just place it to the top and let's just type whatever detail you want and just place it on top of this like that now we can probably parent it to the map layer as well so that it is moving but we have to play around with its timing so let's just pick some points so somewhere around here i want these lines to like start appearing maybe a little bit closer let's select this press f9 and right here we can have our decoding text as well perfect so now we can highlight this area in the same way select this press ctrl d let's just move this to the top and we can just place it somewhere around here now you can quickly change the text and we can select the pen tool to change its direction as well so let's just move it somewhere around here so here we have like mentioned our next area as well and also things will like already be applied perfect now this one more thing one last thing i don't want these buildings to like highlighted in the beginning so we can play around with that so let me just quickly select these buildings which is this one and i'm going to press t for opacity let's add a keyframe and let's move it a little bit ahead somewhere around here we can just set this to zero like that now let's select this map and also i'm going to play around with the tint so first i want this to be like completely opaque and then we have to like have the tint so let's add a keyframe press u and again let's move it further and i'm going to set the amount to zero in the beginning so you can see that as it is coming it is like completely 
natural and after that it like changes and we have these highlighted buildings so this is how you can create these kind of animated map looks and you can see that it looks very professional and you can use it for like documentaries or whatever you want so i hope you learned something from this video and if you have any queries or questions that you can ask in the comments below and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.